Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the strongest Fiddlesticks build to carry with consistently. If you don't take Ignite, there's lots of junglers who can solo you. For example, Lee Sin when he invades you on your top side camp. Fiddle wants to linear full clear and you avoid getting your Q into level 4, so having Ignite makes a huge difference. We're up against Kindred. She absolutely can't solo me since I have Ignite. It simply won't be possible for her. So right now I'm just keeping watch. I'm gonna start on my bot side. We have blue jungle item to go fast. We're also gonna get rocket belt to go fast. At the end of the day, you need to land as much of your R as possible. And sure, not having Flash will hurt you in that. But at the same time, Flash is a much, much longer cooldown. And your Flash isn't going to be up with every R. Because by the time you have two or three points in your R, it'll only be a one minute cooldown. Flash is a five minute cooldown. So only having Flash for one out of five R's is not really the best. So anyways, should be a lot of fun. We're going to start bot side, preferably with Leash. Start with Drain. Their comp's pretty tough. One good Fiddle R and I can wipe their back line though. Fiddle R, Rocket Belt. I've actually been kind of experimenting with Q level 2 instead of E level 2. And I really like it. Because it's not that much of a longer cooldown. Let me go ahead and drain these together. Very nice. Yeah, I'll go ahead and try the Q. So the nice thing about fear is if you hit an enemy champion or a monster when they don't have vision of you, they get feared and they take the full damage from it. And then if you fear something after it's been feared recently, it takes a bunch of extra percent base damage. So I'm a big fan. So for example, when I walk up on these wolves, I can kind of start my drain from out of their vision. They get feared and then I can fear them here in a second, just like this. Very nice. We're going to go and smite it, take it out quicker. I guess we actually didn't need to smite that. That was kind of pointless. Probably didn't need to do that. Get another point in our drain. And the nice thing about having your Q as well is it's better for fighting champions than your E is. If you do get invaded, Q is way better than having E. Wow, Kindred went mid super, super early. She didn't get the kill either. She's in a rough spot. We could go mid in theory. Since I have Q and I didn't go for uh, E level 2. Thing is, I don't have flash and I, I don't want Bygar to just cage me out. You should start your Q at the start of each camp ideally because it does more damage the healthier something is. So with leash we're doing roughly a 315. I'm pretty happy with that. 315 full clear, very solid. Having Q level 2, like I said, is better now than E level 2. In many, many ways. E level 2 used to be better for pulling camps together. We get her with our fear there. QW. She got out of my drain there quickly. <laughs> Riven was barely even able to get that. We'll get him with an EW. I get the blue buff as well. Get him with my fear. Red buff autos. Yeah, Kindred got out of my drain really quick there, so I couldn't really get my damage on her very well. You see how we get the fear on it? Now when we go to fear, it'll do more damage. I'm not going to, though. I don't need to. It's already low enough. Your drain's a big execute. The lower in health something is, the more damage your drain does at the very end. That's why you want to keep people inside of it. Kindred's in a bad spot. She shouldn't have cheese gank. Cheese ganking isn't what it used to be. Camps give more gold. Uh, last patch, they added that. So, a bit of an advantage for a champion like Fiddlesticks versus a cheese ganker like Kindred. My bot lane got absolutely devastated there. So, for example, here we can get it with an E, kind of outside of its vision. QW. The Q did 300 damage. That's about as much as my drain's doing right now at full health. Drain's doing about 365. Now Drain's doing 459 because it's much lower. Auto E. We're going to stay on the map. Although I would like the back to get tier 2 boots, all my camps are up. We'll drain outside of vision. We get the fear. Drop the uh, EQ. Should have really Q'd first then E since Q does more damage to health or something. Is, so that's my bad there. We'll pull him out. We're going to continue to clear because our camps are up and I'm going to be level 6 and then we win the game. So we'll go ahead and fear these guys. Now this fear does even more damage. It does 13% current health instead of 6%. And that amount goes up per level you put into your fear. Go 
goes up much, much higher. Same thing over here. We'll go ahead and hit it with an E. QW, smite it down so my and my W does more damage. And I'm gonna hit a priest six minute level six, I think. Yeah, very cool. You try try not to cancel your drain. You cancel your drain by moving while it's still active, or if an enemy hits you with hard CC while you're draining. And if that happens, it puts it on full cooldown. So you wanna just try to let things walk out of it naturally or let the target die. But if you cancel your drain by moving while it's still going off, it's really bad for you. I'm gonna go an R for this. This guy's crazy, QEW. I still didn't get off my electrocute there. He died too fast. I have a crazy lead, dude. I'm actually so fed. I should reset, but look at Ash items. It's just boots plus like 800 gold spent. Haven't really used my Ignite yet this game. It would have made no sense to use it on the Vigar there. I'll get her ooh, or the Ash division there. Get her with a Q E W. I had to cancel my drain to Ignite. I have no clue what Renata just did, man. Like, <laughs> we can't kill this chick. EW. She had flash anyways, and my Jinx dies for that. That's a huge oof. I need to reset here. I'm sitting on a stupid amount of gold. Although my camps are back up. Our back's already been delayed on. Fiddle, you can get away with it. Just like full clear, gank, full clear, gank with your R. But still, like we're really pushing it here. We'll go for my blue buff. I don't think I have much faith in this Renata. She literally just watched Jinx die. I didn't have boots, so I, it's hard for me to get to Ash because she has boots and I don't have boots at the time now we have the lucids it helps you clear really fast all your abilities on a lower cooldown fiddles damage mainly comes from his drain eqw smite it we'll pull it over for the second drain if it doesn't die to this it's the closest thing to taking two camps at once you can really do with fiddle these days and my Fear is on cooldown, but this blast cone comes in 530. No one's broke it yet. I'll try to do something here, but my teammates probably aren't going to help me too much. QEW. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. That's big. She doesn't have flash here either. You get her with an E to slow her down and to drain since I'm slowed. I think she also snared me there. That's solid. My R was on cooldown, otherwise I would have used R to start that. They didn't have a good CC to stop me. I think Ash had already blown her R. Snares and slows do not cancel your W channel or your R channel. They have to use stuns, knockups, knockbacks, silences, polymorphs, those types of things. I think I just saw their jungler topside. Why did, what is that? I don't even know what that does when she puts it on me. I know it keeps me alive if I get a kill before I, it, I time runs out, but I think it gives you bonus stats when she puts that on you, like attack speed. R's up in 40. I can carry this game, 100%. I can carry it. 100%. As long as I stay alive. Because I have all the shutdown gold. I have all the gold on my team, basically. I'm the most important player at the moment. Typically, you don't get the kill on Fiddlesticks. It's just with the way this game's been playing out. It's just kind of set up for me to get the kill. There's someone in my jungle, I think. I'm ready to run. I do have, uh, like, tier 2 boots or whatever. York doesn't have very good items. I think I can kill him with my R. Little R, Q, E, Ignite. Usually E when the fear is about to end. So that way they can't dodge it and you're not wasting the silence duration. So we'll max our Q first here. R in. Literally missed my Q on him. Tragic. I'll get a thread buff auto. Slow him down for the Riven. Auto W. Down you go, buddy. I get the killer. Riven's probably a little annoyed by that. It is what it is, though. I got the York Flash. And I missed my Q. <laughs> I should have toggled. If enemy champions are smothered by minions or monsters, hold down the tilde button on your keyboard 
and then it won't let you click it on anything but a champion. So you can spam click it, need be. I'll get her with a fear, auto EW, down she goes. Once again, we E once the fear is about to end. That way they come out and then they're immediately silenced. If I had R, I would dive York here, but obviously I don't have R. We'll open up this with a EQ, so it gets feared and then we get double damage from RQ. Because monsters have limited vision range, so that counts. Even though, obviously, I can see him quite easily when I used it. Oh, I'll play by the ribbon. I shouldn't be stealing these. I'm just trying to get them low for her, though. I have R. I can come back. She should just stay. There's nothing for me to take here. It's kind of annoying. We'll get her. Ooh, I want to get her with the EQ. I didn't even get my electrocute from that. That was three separate hits too. Maybe it was on cooldown or something. Might be able to kill Vigar. I'll just stay at this point. I can tank. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, she's getting chunked, dude. She got absolutely destroyed. He got feared by that since he didn't have vision of me. I can't break the ward down though. They don't know that I'm here. I'm going to drop R on that. Q, E, W. Ignite him and I walk out. I think that's the first time I had to use my ignite this game. The ignite more than anything is an insurance policy. Uh, it's just mainly if you get invaded solo. You can solo things like Lee Sins. Take him to the cleaners. I need to get my health back. Bodyguard just absolutely decimated the Diana there. He has high HP too. I don't think I can even kill him. I'm messing up full clear now. It's whatever. R's up soon anyways. Once you're level 6 and up, you don't have to keep doing super pretty linear full clears. All we need to do is make sure we're getting good value out of R. So when it's going to be up in 15 seconds or less, we need to look for the plays. I want this XP. Auto EW. Nice. It is kind of like an auto reset on Fiddlesticks. If you need to mix in that extra damage early game, it's fine. In the mid late game, like once you have two points in your R, you, you don't really auto attack other than if you have a red buff and you're trying to slow them down for your teammates. Since red buff slows their movement speed, obviously. He's feared. QW. Actually, he didn't get feared by my E. That's weird. That should have feared him. Not really sure what happened there. I'm not sure if this is warded. Seems to be. These guys are moving. Yeah, Diana. She's struggling this game. I'm not sure what is and what isn't worded. I don't trust this Renata at all. I'm going to get in this bush. And I think we might be able to find something. Ash is a full item. It's a little scary. She's dead. R, Q, E, W, smite. Down she goes. I knew I had the damage. I didn't need to walk along with her. Just burst her down before she comes out. Should be dragon. Pull it out with an E. This counts as the fear, because now look, that one crits. 248. Very nice. Even though you can't fear dragon, since I hit him from out of vision, it applied it. And then I hit him with Q for the double current health damage. Got it. My R's on cooldown. I'm sitting on 4k gold. Jinx is trying to force a gank. She misses her skill shot. Vigar flashes out, plus he has barrier, so they're never going to kill him there ever. No matter how they played that, just wasn't going to happen. At this stage of the game, we're best off going for Azanias. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll just buy it outright. Gives loads of good stats. It might seem kind of awkward, like, oh no, you're wasting your stopwatch. I mean, in a weird way, we kind of are, but we're still getting the free gold from it. It doesn't give you 750, unfortunately, when you get it for free, like I did. It only gives you like 300 gold towards Zanius. Stupid, but it is what it is. Diana dies, huge surprise. This game is getting very messy. 
I'll just run this way then. All right. It still let him queue even though he was feared. That's so stupid. I have to use my R to get away. Three man pinched while my teammates aren't on the map. Granted, I was like pretty aggressive in my positioning there, but still, that's kind of annoying. Little unfortunate. I have to stay alive or we lose. Very common on fiddlesticks. Since you, you're the jungler, you get to choose your engages. We have ignite, so we're not going to get invaded. It's all about our decision making and having our teammates muted. If you don't mute your teammates, they will get you killed nonstop. They'll say, come on, man. I'm ready for my gank now. And they're absolutely not ready for their gank. <laughs> so just keep them muted. Folklore junglers should always have their teammates muted up until you're playing in like at least Grandmaster games. Then you can start to unmute your teammates. R is up here in a moment. It's only on a 60 second cooldown. Our rocket belt is basically a free flash. If you count the mobility, so it, it's about 70% of a flash, but then it's a movement speed bonus. We can run this guy down here. Or can I? Riven's legit about to die. Rocket belt into him, get him with Q, then EW, down he goes. Riven doesn't seem very balanced right now. I've seen a lot of Riven players absolutely popping off. I need to get mid before Ash kills my whole team. They're literally 2v3 my teammates. It's so bad for me. I, I can't even go in. It was warded, obviously. Like, they're running away from my exact position. I should have stayed with the Riven. I don't think it's necessarily Jinx. That's the issue. I think it's more the Renata. The way she's using her abilities is not the most optimal. I mean, the fact that she's five deads, Jinx is only two deads is quite telling. While simultaneously, uh, Jinx has more CS than Ash because sure, AD carries can get their supports killed, but if she's also out farming while her support's dying all the time, that probably means Jinx is doing fine. I want red buff, obviously. Let's fear it into fear W. I'm going to get near the bush for the speed up. Very nice. QW. Let's pull it into bush and get it with smite. And I can escape because I have blue jungle item. I can easily get out of this. Very nice. Ash is top. Collapsed on the Riven. Riven's probably dead. Ash even ghosted for it. Right now there's only so much I can do. All I can do is try to be in the most logical spot without wasting a bunch of time. If all of my camps are up, me just running around the map is a waste of time. So, but here, Vigar's pushing up. My Diana's there. It makes sense to go. I'm going to Rocket Belt into him. I don't need to R. Q into EW. He can't fight back. Fiddle's a good counter to Vigar if Vigar's going to play like that. Vigar's not a split push champion. He needs to group. We need to uh, play for that. Someone's trying to surrender. Very cool. Twitch TV somebody. <laughs> oh, man. Going to R for this. Q. Missed my E. Got her with Smite. Ignite. Maybe I didn't need to Ignite. I don't know. I'd much rather her die, though, and not get away. Drag Souls our win con here. Absolutely. Fiddlesticks doesn't really have any jungle counters because he doesn't have to interact with the enemy jungler for the most part. Fiddle doesn't really do invades, and he's just full clear into ganks. So no matter what they pick, they're not necessarily an issue. You full clear quickly, you full clear full HP. And as long as you have Ignite, even if it's a three camp clear invade jungler like a Talon or Lee Sin, you can solo them. They can't beat you with two points in Drain, Beer, and an Ignite. It's not possible. Guarantee it. It is not possible no matter how they play it. They will not win that. Now, if you go two points W and then get E, 
if you go W E W, then they might be able to because you don't have the fear. Fear holds them still for a full W uh, to go off. Plus, you fear they're not hitting you for a second and a quarter. Got her with the silence and two. I'll just go ahead and fear her here. Oh, she actually gets away. That's so bad for us. The fact they got away there. The uh, Riven wasn't quite able to pinch, but Jinx gets a kill. She gets the speed ups. It's pretty solid overall. It's really bad that they got 1,000 gold from killing me, though. I think I ended up canceling my drain. That's what happened. My drain went on full cooldown, I think. This is really bad if Bygar comes to stop this. This is incredibly greedy. I'd say Robidon, honestly. I guess Ash doesn't have any magic resist, so we can push for... We can push for Shadow Flame. This is so bad. That was so bad. Like, we're already ahead. He's going to kill everybody now. Oh my gosh. That's oof. Unfortunate. I think Ash is about to walk into me. It looks like Ash was coming into my jungle. I don't mind Raven getting the red buff there. She doesn't seem to want to come over here. I'm going to go ahead and R for this. Rocket Belt. EQW. I got the Ash, which is the most important thing. Ignite on the Yorick. There goes his self-healing. Very nice. My Ignite finished him off. Ash dying was pivotal. She's there, carry. She's got nine kills. She has to die first. R Rocket Belt QEW. Very, very important. Kendra's unbelievably far behind. Her early ganks put her in a tough situation. I'm not a fan of early gank playstyle. It's super cheesy, you know, and it doesn't pan out. But you're on a sinking ship. Riven just dashed into the Vigar thing. This is stupid. I can't move. That was so dumb. Legit CC'd for five seconds and I got a teammate trying to surrender. I assume it's Riven. Yeah, it's the Riven. Big surprise. Down goes Renata. High value right there. Hmm. If against tanks, we could go for Demonic. I mean, Banshees wouldn't be ter it wouldn't be horrible, but it's not really what we need per se. I think we just push for Robidon here. Robidon or Cosmic? Cosmic might actually be worth it. Lots of movement speed, lots of ability haste. We need Drag Soul, then we win the game, even with this Renata. Things are all gonna be in my jungle. I went through it, QE, I die, but Jinx gets a kill, it's a one for one. That's an interesting interaction, you kind of, you're not tangible, so even if Vi cages, as long as your thing goes on the outside of the cage, he can't cage you. Like, my team wins that, if Ash is dead, Riven kills everybody. I couldn't get off R, obviously. I was going to get CC'd. I already got Ash arrowed, Vigar R'd. Vigar doesn't have R here. Let's see if Raven can do it. Raven's legit like stepping on every single Vig W. They need to kill Kindred so Jinx gets ex her thing. It's a good Jinx trap. And it is not enough. That sucks. Their team's playing better together than we are. Like, what value did Diana even get there? Oh, 
Vag dies at least. I get a shutdown, but they get the dragon. That sucks. Well, at least I had Ignite to get that kill. So tough, man. I really wanted that drag. I'm starting to worry that it won't matter, though, because with the way people are going in, we need to give chance for Fiddlesticks to set up. If we don't let me set up, then there's not much we can do. A lot of frantic spazzing around. I thought that fight would have gone a lot better, even with me not being there since Ash was dead, but Riven was literally walking into every vague W. She has to save shield for the W. She's using her shield just to get to people. But if she uses it to jump past the Vide Rock, then she might actually be able to do something. But she's just... She's getting hit by every Vide Rock and losing all of her HP. I have level 3R. It does nearly 3,000 damage. My goodness. They don't have much magic resist either. R is only a 30 second cooldown. My god. That's so short. I need to get in position. I don't need to farm anymore. Now that we're level 3 R, there's not much of an incentive for farming other than finishing our final item. Two more points in E isn't really going to change anything. Just a slightly bigger slow. I'll take it. Bye, Vigar. Very spicy. How we timed it. Got her with the slow. I'm pretty fast with Cosmic. Couldn't quite get it though. Renata used her speed up. Eh, only like 10 seconds late, but that's chill. Riven, very low, having to back off. Don't know what Jinx is doing. Probably lose turret here. It's going to be a matter of if our teammates can mentally stick with this game. If they stick with it, I think we win. York's three full item. Riven's a bunch of magic resist too. Yeah, York gets inhib here. Oh, okay, he doesn't. That was pretty good. That's what we needed. I'm moving for 23. You guys are dead. Goodbye. And goodbye. That's a big... I don't even need the gold is the sad thing. I want Riven to get red buff while it's gone. My R's legit on a 36 second cooldown. How stupid is that? Because I'm still doing so much damage. Vigar's going to kill me. He's right there. I can't get in. <laughs> He's blocking me. I'm going to... You're dead, you little rat. Wait, my R got canceled? Gone with my silence. W. Down you go, buddy. I went to R, but it didn't go off there. That was kind of wonky. Looks like we're going to lose at least one inhib here. Oh, they, they're not even going to kill him, I don't think. That's unfortunate. I'll pick up Void Staff. I mean, they did get one inhib. If we can get Drag Soul, that might seal the deal. Jinx also has Sorcery, which is Absolute Gathering, most likely. It's pretty big. The uh, Sorcery Tree is the best late game tree in the game, hands down. And their AD carry doesn't have it, which means the Synergy on a crit isn't going to be as high as the Jinx is, for example. Jinx is... So three items versus three items. Jinx is nearly 350 AD. You're dead. Oh, well played, guys. Well played. I have the bush speed up as well. I'm getting mauled to death by the York nonsense. I legit almost just died. How stupid is that? Yeah, York's backing right now. I'm going to pick up the elixir and smack him right in the head. Hey, buddy. Expecting me? QEW, you can't use abilities. The Maiden is legit focusing the inhib. What a dirty skank. She almost finished it. They timed it pretty well. It didn't quite pinch. We should get Draxol. We have my R. Diana needs to back for sure. She could probably go solo dragon though. 
Oh, never mind. Ash sees me. I could even already get to Dragon. Only a 36 second cooldown. That's so stupid. I don't even have that much ability haste. Like, I could legit buy more. Shadow Flame doesn't give ability haste. And neither does Void Staff. That's Draxel. It's an extra slow. And a tiny bit of extra damage. 50 damage. Woo! And drop R for this. Rock about Q. I got her flash at least. Yeah, eat that, Ash, you freaking nasty hoe. Got her sums. My E hit her so hard. I don't need camps anymore. I'm level 18, full build. I should give him to Jinx. My jungle monkey brain is making me take him still. I kind of need control words. At this stage in the game, it would actually be beneficial to sell Lucid. It would make my R, instead of a 34 second cooldown right now, it would turn it to more like a 40. But the sorts are worth it because Ash doesn't have magic resist. I'd basically be doing true damage to her with my double flat plus percent base. This shit's all worded. Jinx has a nice little spot to attack though. This is a... I'm not in this fight. It's really bad. Q-E-W-R. Dude, I, I can't move. I'm literally CC'd. I can't move. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what got me. I'll CC for 1.6. I couldn't see it either. My whole team died there. We could lose off that. <laughs> It's very possible. I'm still happy with the way we played overall, though. You just legit can't win them all. Riven gets a kill. She's kind of just trapped in the York circle, though. She killed the one person we didn't really need dead either. Seraphine's going to be low auto attack damage against our base. Diana might be able to stall it. She kind of has to go for their AD. Mm, that's good. Hit York, please. Alright, now Jinx can clear base. Having Jinx is actually really good for clearing this type of stuff. She's probably the best AD carry at clearing mass waves. She could clear three super waves all by herself. Oops, wasted my thing there. I think Vigar is looking to cheese. I really do. I would not be surprised if he was looking to just find a quick QR on somebody. My R does nearly 3,000 damage. I have a bunch of penetration from my rocket belt. My um, shadow flame as well. An R for this. Rock about into him. Get him with a Q. E. I can't move. That was so scary, dude. I need to heal off something. We need to reset. Ash almost just sniped me. What the hell? This is bad. We're going to lose an inhib. Jinx needs to run. We can actually do something here if they push. This is fightable. I don't know if it's worded though. With the way they're acting, we're not as legit gonna give a cat out of the bag here. Raven goes in for the solo. She literally just soloed a hole breaker. Hole breaker is actually trash item now. That item is legit doo-doo feces. If Riven, who went double magic resist stack, can solo Yorick, who has armor. Makes no sense. The only people we really have to mainly play off of now is the Riven and the Jinx. Those are our two main players.
everyone's basically full build at this point. I don't have a real advantage other than having dragons. Yeah, 34 second cooldown on R. How cool is that? They're going to think I'm over here now. Having the extra attack speed from Hextech Drag is actually pretty cool. Oh no. Like, what is this fight? Oh, nice, nice, nice. I get the bush speed ups here. Not sure what Riven's doing, but I like it. QEW, and everybody dies. Some just need a little help. Holy schnitzel, man. My goodness. I think that's it. Fiddle diddle. Blue jungle item. Lots of ability haste. My favorite way to play him right now for sure. Having R up almost twice per minute is a little outrageous. If you really hate activatable items, so you refuse to use them, probably shouldn't play Fiddlesticks because you have to use Zanyas on him. It's too essential not to have. But uh, you could go for Night Harvester over Rocket Belt. It's simply not as good though. Miss out on the penetration and the extra mobility. It's like a damage ult damage taken and runes here. Looking at damage ult enemy champions, we have the most in the game, even more than Vigar at 53,845. Super excited with that for, to be doing <laughs> that much more damage than anyone else. Because Total 6 is a counter punch champ. You don't get to really go around and get f free padding for this stat like a Teemo Shroom or Karthus are. For damage taken, we took the most in the game. No way! We actually took the most? That doesn't make sense. self mitigated Okay, yeah. If you count self mitigated we didn't take the most. But let's just focus on this right here. And then for runes, ultra high value. All in all, Fiddlesticks Jungle absolutely is viable. In fact, ultra viable top 10 in every single elo. Whether it be iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, grandmaster, or challenger. I don't keep up with professional high elo. I don't pay attention to that at all, so I wouldn't know for that. But if you're watching this, obviously you're not a professional player. But yeah, literally viable in every single elo. Lots and lots of carry potential. The main catch is you don't want to pick him if your team already has two other AP champions because the enemy team will stack magic resist and you won't get much value out of Shadow Flame's flat penetration. So yeah. Just don't pick him if your team already has two mage-style champions. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.